Assalamu alaikum students and viewers this is Mohammed Imran Murtaza from Anglophone English Learning Center I hope you remember in the last class I talked about subject pronoun if you remember that it was about subject pronoun and let me give you an overview what we learned in the last class this is what we learned in the last class subject pronoun so doer of an action is called subject pronoun okay ek jumle mein jo kaam karne wala hota hai wo subject pronoun hai aur ye main aapko revision karwa raha hu jo humne ne class class mein padhi thi theek hai so subject pronoun jumle mein sabse pehle aata hai it comes at the beginning but today what you are learning we are learning about object pronoun here we go now see receiver of an action jo kaam ko receive karta hai that is called an object remember in one sentence we have doer of an action that is called subject and then we have got verb verb shows an action or a state and then after verb we have got receiver of an action and that is called object and you must keep in your mind that verb and object they remain together you cannot separate them i play cricket so cricket will be the part of play it is verb and object they always stay together you cannot separate them so you must keep it in your mind okay so again so receiver of an action is called an object jo action ko receive karta hai usko hum object kehte hain jo wasool karne wala ho main salman ko padhata hu to main padhane wala subject मैं क्या करता हूँ पढ़ाता हूँ वर्ब अब मैं किसको पढ़ाता हूँ सलमान को मेरे पढ़ाने को रिसीव कौन करता है सलमान करता है एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड एन ऑब्जेक्ट रिमेंबर और ऑब्जेक्ट जो है वो हमेशा वर्ब के बाद हम इस्तेमाल करते हैं एक जब सिंपल सेंटेंस बनाते हैं तो हम वर्ब के बाद ऑब्जेक्ट को इस्तेमाल करते हैं और ऑब्जेक्ट जो है वो रिसीव रिसीवर ऑफ एन एक्शन है ना शी कुक्स फूड वो खाना पकाती है वट इज शी हेयर सब्जेक्ट खाना पकाने वाला कौन है शी सब्जेक्ट वो क्या करती है कुक्स वर्ब ओके वो क्या पकाती है फूड एंड इज दिस इज एन एन ऑब्जेक्ट ठीक है खाना पकाने वाला सब्जेक्ट और पकाना हो गया वर्ब और जो चीज वो पका रही है वो फूड है इट मीन फूड जो है उसके ऊपर काम हो रहे हैं तो फूड यहां पर ऑब्जेक्ट है रिसीवर ऑफ एन एक्शन है नाउ दे प्ले अ गेम वो लोग गेम खेलते हैं दे सब्जेक्ट प्ले वर्ब एंड अ गेम object subject verb object it gives a proper sense and it is a proper sentence the third sentence he writes a letter wo khat likhta hai likhne wala kaun hai he subject wo kya karta hai likhta hai writes wo kya likhta hai letter object so subject verb and object jab in teenon ko aap sequence mein lagayenge it gives a proper sense and it is a sentence remember whenever we meet we make a basic sentence we follow subject we follow verb and then we follow object subject verb and object it gives a proper sense and it is a sentence now again let me give you an overview subject doer of an action jo kaam karne wala hai wo subject hai and then verb a, a, a verb is a word which shows an action or state and then object object receiver of an action so doer of an action verb and receiver of an action when you combine them it gives a proper sense and it is a sentence Do you understand me? If you have any question to ask, so write down something in the comment comment box. I'll definitely answer you. Or you can give me, you can send me a message through WhatsApp. That is here. You got my number, okay? And for my online classes, you can send me a message. I'll definitely contact you, and then we can uh, we can uh, you know find a slot for you for your online classes. All right? Now comes the point. Now again, when we talk about subject, as I taught you, there are three kinds of subject: first person, second person, and third person. and now we have got two kinds of object one is called direct object and one is called indirect object okay you must remember when we talk about object so there are two kinds of object the first one is direct and second one is indirect object now let me make a sentence i write him a letter what is the sentence i write him a letter what is i here subject what is right here verb what is him here object What is a letter here? It is also an object. So if we have two kinds of object, so we name them direct object and indirect object. Now the question arises: So which one is considered to be indirect and direct? Okay. So now very simple. I subject write verb. Okay. What does he write? A letter is a direct object. And after writing, who is going to receive it? Him. It is indirect object. Okay. 
so after right him is an indirect object and letter is a direct object now we can make the same sentence in different ways like see i write a letter to him here we got a preposition so the word that comes after preposition the the sub uh, the object which comes after preposition that is what indirect object so here after right we have got letter and letter is a direct object and when we have a direct object so we follow a preposition to follow indirect object it could be true it could be for it depends on your requirement like see i buy you an ice cream i buy you an ice cream you may say i buy an ice cream for you for you it means that when we have two kinds of object we can uh, we can use with with, with one uh, uh, preposition and second without preposition now we got another sentence here i sent him a message what is that i sent him a message what is i here subject what is sent here work what is him here indirect object okay and what is the message here is called direct object you may make the sentence in this way i sent a message to him it means it means that when we have one object we can make one sentence when we have two objects we can make two sentences do you understand me and remember these two objects if you once start learning if you once understood about objects so when you start learning passive voice you won't get confused remember it's very important to understand what objects are okay now as we have learned about subject we have learned about object we have learned about verb as well okay subject doer of an action verb that shows an actual state and object receiver of an action so we have learned it in detail now i'm going to give you some exercises and please do it here we go you see this exercises all right this is sam i go to school with dash now you have got to fill what dash is it could be he or it could be him what could it be it could be he or him okay now you have got to make a decision like this is sam i go to school with dash okay can you say i go to school with he okay no then what are we supposed to say i go to school with him it means we need here an object pronoun all right now dash are going into town here of course the sentence is starting okay so we need to use here subject pronoun so what is subject pronoun here we or us of course we of course we we are going into town okay now we have got four more sentences i would just like you to write down these sentences try to understand that write down in the comment box okay now before i leave i would like you to uh, subscribe my youtube channel and click the bell icon so that in future when i just upload my video you'll be able to get notifications okay thank you very much for watching me allah hafiz